It is Saturday, and I am leaving the apartment for the first time in like two days. Once again, I have my headshot in hand, and I'm ready to go for my audition. Okay, so I'm in the right area. Now I just need to find where I'm actually going. Found it. And I'm done. That, that was it. It was a super quick thing. I go in there, I fill out this piece of paper, I walk right in, the dude's chilling, and I, I shake his hand and everything, and he's like, what do you have for me today? And I'm like, I have a monologue for you. And he's like, w uh, what's it from? And I'm like, it's this play called Ohio. I haven't seen it, but I've read the play. And uh, he's like, all right. So then I just kind of, I, I was like, do you, do you want me to say anything? Or, 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 I, I didn't know if he wanted me to like say, I'm Matt Bartz, I'm going for this role or whatever. Cause I mean, I'm sure he already knew that, but I don't know, this is my, this is kind of my first time doing this. So then he was like, yeah, just go ahead. And then, so I started in to the, uh, started into the monologue and I was going and it went pretty well. I had to kind of improvise a little bit because I tripped myself up a little bit, but I think I did okay. And the dude said that he's like, uh, I, I wrapped up. He kind of got a chuckle. Like he, he chuckled at the end, which I hope is a good thing. And then he said, I'm going to go ahead and give you a call back for Thursday. Uh, I think, is that good? I, does that mean I'm like ahead of other people? I don't know. So Thursday, I don't know if he gave me a time. I don't think he gave me a time, but I have a call back for Thursday. And then he's like, oh, and then, you know, Monday and Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, I'll start giving you guys times or something, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be like seven to 10 or something like that. I'm like, okay, this is something. This is, uh, something's happening. <laughs> I don't know what like, I mean, so as far as I know, I'm coming back to do actual scenes from the show on Thursday now. So I need to familiar, familiarize myself with the play, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm trying to process all this, as you can see. I don't really know what to think. Like, do I does this, what does this mean now? Like, will I, is it, am I, did some people, did he not give other people callbacks? Am I like one of the few or I don't know. I do not know, but Hey, <laughs> I think it went pretty well. The guy seemed nice. Uh, yeah. So now is, it's not even three. It is two forty. I showed up half an hour early and I'm out 10 minutes later. Done. Whew. So I've got the rest of the day to do nothing. I'm going to run to Walmart because I'm out of sandwich makings. Uh, and then I'm just going to go back to the apartment and chill, I guess. I don't know. Sure. Got what I needed. Now I'm headed back to the apartment. I was thinking about the, uh, the play and I put down that I have no conflicts with the uh, rehearsing schedule and whatnot. And as I was thinking about it, I'm like, oh man, that would really change my life for the time of actually rehearsing. Like, shoot, it, it's pretty much every weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, at least that's what it looked like. I didn't like memorize the schedule or anything, but man, that would really, my social life would take a hit, that's for sure. <laughs> but it'd be worth it. It would be worth it to do a Shakespeare play you kidding me? But um, I was just like, wow, I didn't really, I mean, it was, kind of, I didn't know I'd have to do something like that, or I didn't think about it. I should have thought about it, but I just didn't think about it. Half to, you know, put down what, what con scheduling conflicts I have. And I was just like, well, I'm here for acting. And, you know, it's not like I'm going to put down, oh, I kind of want to go home for Christmas as like a a scheduling conflict because I mean this is kind of important <laughs> so I put down no conflicts and then that's something that the guy said he was like it's always good to have no conflicts and I was like oh man <laughs> it just like it kind of hit me afterwards like wow everything would change for the duration of rehearsing if I you know obviously if I got this role so 
here just a second. So, this is going to be very interesting if I do indeed get this part. Like, it is going to be crazy. Sorry, my, my hand's in the shot there. But, um, yeah, things could be changing, you know? Can you imagine if I actually get this part, like... A Shakespeare play? Really good actors have done Shakespeare plays before. What if I'm just the next in line of the greats, you know? What if what if I can say, you know, I started in Shakespeare, you know, I did Shakespeare as my first play and, you know, like, take, this is like my first audition in Hollywood and what if I get it, you know? I'm pretty much just setting myself up for failure here. I'm saying all this crud and I'm... What if I don't get the role, you know? Whatever happens, happens, you know? I'm kind of neutral at this point. I'll be thrilled if I get it. If I don't, there's hundreds of thousands more auditions down the line. So I'm not too stressed. Now it is back to the apartment. 